Hello everyone and thank you for joining me. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make snickerdoodles. This is such a simple little cookie. It is so easy to make. So all the ingredients and the measurements are listed down below and we can start baking. The first thing we're going to do is mix together our dry ingredients for later. So in a small bowl here I have some flour. Into this I'm going to add baking powder, cream of tartar, as well as a nice generous pinch of salt. I'm just going to go ahead and give that a little stir use a spatula, a spoon, or a whisk, it doesn't really matter, and then you can set that aside for later on. Now, in a larger bowl, we are going to add our nice soft butter as well as all of our sugar. Now, we're going to go ahead and beat this on high with a stand mixer or a hand mixer for a good 5 to 10 minutes. We want to get this to a really nice, light, and fluffy consistency. It's what helps us get a really nice texture on our cookies. So make sure that you beat it for a good long time. You probably will have to stop partway through, use a spatula, just make sure to scrape down the butter off the sides of the bowl, and then keep on beating until it is a nice, light, and soft uh, consistency. The butter should be really, really pale at this point, almost white now instead of the yellow that it started at. After your butter is all nicely mixed, we can go ahead and add in our egg as well as a nice splash of vanilla. And we're going to beat this once again until it is completely combined. Last, we're going to go ahead and add all of our flour into our butter mixture. And now you're just going to go ahead and mix it on a very low speed until it starts to come together and it has almost formed a ball. Don't mix it all the way, just until it looks like it's getting ready to come together. And then you can go ahead and stop. From here, we're going to go ahead and shape our mixture into our balls. Now I'm using a portion scoop because it is fast and easy. If you don't have a portion scoop, then just go ahead and use your hands and pinch out pieces of cookie dough and roll them into about one inch balls. And then we're going to set them aside on a tray or a plate wherever you want until you have all of your balls formed. Now, before we put our cookies into the oven, we are going to roll them in the snickerdoodle cinnamon sugar mixture. This is just cinnamon and sugar. Just go ahead and mix them together in a small bowl. And then you're going to go ahead and take your cookies and one by one, you're just going to roll them to coat in your cinnamon sugar and then place them about an inch or two apart on a parchment lined baking tray. Once all your cookie balls are rolled in the cinnamon sugar, we can go ahead and throw them into a 350 degree oven. We are going to leave them into the oven for anywhere from about 8 to 10 minutes. It will change a little bit depending on your particular oven. Just leave them until when you touch them, the edges feel like they are completely set. I don't like to cook them until the top is completely done. They will continue to cook on the baking sheet after you take it out of the oven for a little while. So I like to take them out while the tops still have just a little bit of give to them. Once they are out of the oven, you're just going to go ahead and leave them on the baking trays to cool down. When they are cool enough to handle, you can go ahead and take them off the baking sheet, put them on a plate or in a cookie jar if you have a cookie jar, and they are all ready to eat. These cookies are so super simple to make, they are fast, they are easy, and they are so, so tasty. So I hope you make them, I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you next time.